Welcome to Lesson 8, Range Extension. During this lesson, we're going to learn the essential tools for singing high notes. So let's take a close look at what's required when it comes to singing those high notes. But first, let me give you a quick tip. Only sing as high as is comfortable during this lesson. The exercises in this lesson are built upon concepts that will help you to reach higher notes strategically whilst you gradually develop your upper register. This program is not a quick fix gimmick, so please be kind to your instrument and don't try to force it to do anything it may not be ready to do. Give yourself time to practice this and be patient as this is the one this is one of the more challenging coordination exercises in singing. Please make sure that you don't push your voice to reach the highest notes in each of the following exercises. Ideally, you should only be attempting to sing notes that are slightly outside of your current vocal range. So please tune into the sensations in your body and to the sounds you're producing so that you become aware of when you might be pushing your voice well beyond its current technical and healthy limits. Okay, on to range extension. So basically, there are many elements uh, of vocal technique that when combined will certainly make singing higher notes more easy for you. For example, breath control is essential when it comes to singing high notes. The reason for this is that the higher you sing, the less breath you need to use. And so, if you're letting your breath out quite rapidly because your cords aren't closed properly, or you're allowing your body to collapse, or you're forcing the air out in an attempt to push up to the higher notes, chances are you're going to find it difficult to reach those high notes because your cords are being blown apart by the excess breath and can't close properly, meaning that they can't vibrate properly and ultimately create the note you're attempting to sing. However, when I first started singing, I truly thought it was the other way around, i.e. I thought I needed to push more air out in order to sing higher, but all that did for me was encourage me to force my larynx higher into my throat, sing with breathy tone, and end up just about dying from exhaustion. So basically, tone clarity, bringing those chords together, which we covered in lesson six, and breath control, which we covered in lesson three, are both essential components when it comes to hitting those high notes. As I mentioned earlier, there are many different techniques that you can employ that will help make the higher notes uh, easier for you to sing within your vocal range. Um, however, the four main areas we're going to focus on during this lesson are energy, space, placement, and forward focus. But just before we go into the exercises that will take us through those techniques, I'd like to just encourage you to take it easy during this lesson. Range extension is a delicate process and the muscles that are being used require gentle but consistent exercise. Incorporate the techniques laid out for you in this lesson on a daily basis if range extension is something you want or need to work on. But remember to exercise the voice gently. In terms of practice consistency, I'd recommend short bursts of exercise in your upper range rather than one long practice session that's focused solely on trying to get your voice to sing higher and higher. Remember that uh, the muscle control along with the energy that's required to sing notes is substantial. So long practice sessions on an underdeveloped voice could result in vocal fatigue and strain and even hoarseness. So again, take it easy and do your high notes practice in short bursts. Once a day for 10 to 15 minutes should be enough to begin with. So let's get into the first exercise for this lesson and look at placement and preparation. <laughs> 